like that. So I sent it to him, and he was like, "This." He was like, "It's hard, but it, it don't sound like me." So then, you know, Red Cat, they did it. Next day, though, they sent the verse over. Check this out. Who the f talking money? Ha ha ha! Funny. I got so much money. My money count money. I was like, damn, I got a Diddy verse, and then you know, from then I, I went and got Gotti on. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E He the reason you see. But I want to go over to the music, man. How was it when you? Now you got to think back, Duro, when you dealt with uh 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 P Diddy and all them in that remix that get big. Yeah. How did that even happen, man? Because I man. never asked you that. Yeah. So you know we had All Star Weekend in Dallas one year. I, 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 uh, yeah, it was snowing. Yeah, snow, it was yeah, snowing. Yeah, snow. Yep, yeah, that year. That year. <laughs> so you know anybody that was coming to Dallas, you know they they would always lock in with me, hit me up. One one day I get a call about Diddy uh, wanting me to pull up. We had went to K one hundred four and we did Baby Show, and Diddy was up there, you know, doing promo. So we that was the first time we we had locked in, but like we so we I think we changed number at the radio station. Then later on that day he hit me and he was just like uh pull up. We we went somewhere, me him, uh, Mark Cuban, like we went to some little event they had, you know. So I'm kicking it with him or whatnot, and we just kind of just kick it that that time and I will start weekend because the the stuff was getting canceled because the snow. So yeah 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 yeah. We kind of just found like our only event and did, and we got cool then. So long fast forward from there. Uh, probably some months later, I had put out Get Big. I had dropped the Gangster Grills. Get, get, Grig, get Big was on that Gangster Grills, uh, number 23. It blew up from there, ended up going radio. It became a big record. And it was probably like top 10 on the Urban Choice at, at the time. And I was just like, damn, it's time for a remix. I hit Diddy. I, I hit him with a text message. I just texted him. I was like, hey, bro, my record Get Big, top 10 right now. We trying to put the remix together. I really want you on it. Man, he hit me right back. He was like, send it to me. Sent it to him. He heard it, he was like, I'm gonna have it back to you tomorrow. And and he sent me back the ver No, first he told me, he said, I'm gonna have it back to you tomorrow. And then the next day he he hit me to actually like write the verse, you know what I'm saying? To write the verse for him. So I wrote the verse, you know what I'm saying? I wrote the you hardest wrote, you verse. Wrote the verse I wrote the hardest verse, but he didn't use it. He, he didn't, didn't use it. it. Oh, it damn. Too, Cause see, like I was young and I was I was too Texas on there. You know, I, I wasn't thinking like a New York nigga, cause he ended up having like Red Cafe do it for him. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah. first he ended up got, got doing, it's hard, you know what I'm saying? Check this out. Yeah. Who the f talking money? Ha, 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 funny. I got so much money, my money count money. And, uh, like, and, 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 and it was more on, when I listened to it, I'm like, yeah, this is more like Diddy. My nickname is Billy, I'm a mother f star. star. My pit house so high that my address is Mars. <laughs> Like, yeah, because at this time, like now, if I write something for somebody, I'm thinking like them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. like, it, if I'm writing this for so and so, I'm thinking like him, so I'm gonna write it for him, it's gonna translate better. But I was young, I'm writing it like me, you know. What I'm saying, I'm writing the hard verse that I was spit, and it was hard too, <laughs> you know. what I'm saying, I might, I might try and find that verse, I might use that one day, but not nah, like I'm, I'm thinking like that. So I sent it to him, and he was like, This, he was like, it's hard, but it, it don't sound like me. So then, you know, Red Cat, they did it next day, though, they sent the verse sent over. The verse over. Check this out. I was like, damn, I got a Diddy verse. And then, you know, from then I, I went and got Gotti on it. Yeah, I just hit it. I, I met everybody through relationships. E1 couldn't even put together this remix for me at first. They didn't even clear this remix because it was mm. bigger than the remix they did. They had gave me another remix with some E1 artists. Shout out to the people that was on it, but it just wasn't that. I was like, nah, I, I can do better this myself. So I went and got Diddy. Uh, drama, Yo Gotti, Mano, uh, Mano, uh, uh, Bun, Bun B. B, yeah, yeah. Uh, who else? Yeah, I don't know. So everybody that you reached out to said yes. Out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody did, said you know, yes. I'm, I'm Shouted low was on that low. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta say this, man. I talked to son yesterday, man. So I, I'm a, listen, man. Man, hey, so how on. was Junior. it, man? Hey, hold on. Oh, let me, let me Low Jr., man. man. Shotty Low, man. Hey, that's that's my dog. First of all, me and Shotty Low, my, we might got about Lowe. four or five songs. Really? Out. And we shot videos. So one time I pulled up to the A. Shotty Low was the type of nigga I pull up to the A. I'm shooting just a regular video. I, we did a song for a mixtape. I'm like, hey, bro, I'm in the A. We did this song on the mixtape. This ain't even a song. I'm just a song on the mixtape. 
where he at? He pull up on me in the A. We somewhere in somebody hood in the A just shooting his verse. And he pulled up on me and Walker did a song. He pulled, like, Shotty Lowe was one of them niggas that'll pull up on you for real. You get what I'm saying? Same thing got a TV mm -hmm. said. He'll pull up on you for real. Like, you in the city, he gonna pull up and no matter where you at, he gonna really pull up. It ain't one of those, oh, I'm gonna pull up and you don't hear from him. Nah, he pulling up. So shout out to Shotty Lowe. He pulled up. We probably shot about three or four videos. So, you know, anytime I was in the A, bro, like, you know, I, I went to his spot, you know, out there in, uh, uh, in Bankhead. 2016. 2016 Bankhead, man. Y'all see this shit? Y'all know who we at? I've been to, you know, I was, I, I was fucking with bro heavy. I'm born home. Yeah, 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 so yeah, you know, we he just always showed love, but it was different. It's only certain people I could really, everybody had always showed me love, but it, it was certain diff people that did it on different levels. Shorty Lowe was one of the ones that really pulled up. We did multiple songs, multiple videos. You know people fucking with you when they coming to your videos. Pull it up. I ain't never paid for a feature in my life. Wow. Ever. You know in what your saying? life? Ever. Not mm. one time. And I never did features with any everybody in the industry. I ain't never paid for one. So that's really off respect. Like that's I, real if respect. I when I do features for somebody for free, it's because I respect who you are and I respect your artistry. That's how I want it. I, I used to tell myself if I can't get an artist for free, then I need to keep working. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I know if you if you really on your shit, like the artist gonna fuck with you. Like Jay Z do only free verses. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But you got to get to the level. You know what I'm saying. You exactly. got to get to that. He ain't gonna charge you for no verse. But if you get to the level to where, so if you're an artist, you want to earn that. So that's how I always looked at it. So, when, but I, I do know it's a difference. Like it's one thing to get somebody on your verse. It's another thing for them to do the verse and come do the video. Video, yeah. That's a whole nother thing. That's a whole, <laughs> so when when niggas like Diddy, when, oh, so Diddy that did that video. So when I went to the A. It was BT Award weekend. Uh. I hit Diddy and it was crazy because I'm like, I, I know bro ain't gonna do the video. I won't even be mad. You know what I'm saying? Cause he did the verse for me and everything. But I was just, I was just, I, I'm throwing a Hail Mary. I'm just gonna text him. Fuck it, why not? I got his number. Hit him. I'm like, hey bro, I'm in the A. We 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 finna shoot the video. I hit everybody else on deck. You know what I'm saying? Uh I they, they we were shooting it, but I just didn't expect to get Diddy. So I text him. He's like, where you at? Man, I, when I say Diddy pulled up in like an hour from when I text him and told him. He was already dressed and everything. I mean, obviously, it was stuff going on, so yeah. he was already in that mode. Man, I shout out to Mano. Mano, my nigga. Hold on, Mano, Mano, that's a bad nigga right now. Mano, my nigga, bro, but he a real nigga. Cause like, <laughs> he, we was shooting a video, and I had came out my pocket to pay for this video. It, was, it cost a lot, but my lady, he wanted to pay for this cause yeah. they didn't use this remix. Right. So I had to come out my pocket all on the spot in the A. You know what I'm saying? Now I didn't have to pay none of the artists, but I had to pay for everything on the spot. You know when you're doing something right then and there, mm -hmm. it's gonna cost more. It ain't planned out. Exactly. I'm like, it was a dude named Rage or something. He was like the top director, and I had to pay. You know. He hit me with a crazy price. He like right now in the A, and you want this, this, and this. Well, if you're gonna do this, it's gonna be X amount. And, and he said just, it was BT Award it was weekend. It was BT Award weekend, and I'm like, fuck it, I gotta do it. Like I can't, you know what I'm saying? So I, I did it, and then, and then so when Diddy showed up, Mano was shooting his verse. You know what I'm saying? But like Diddy was just like, hey man, I gotta be in and out. But so like then when he came, nigga, the whole thing stopped. We had to stop Mano's part. Yeah. We let Diddy shoot his thing. But man, Mano wasn't tripping though. Like, cause at the end of the day, you know, Mano was another nigga I've been rocking with and locked in with. Real hard nigga, and, man. And, and, and I when like Diddy Mano. came, like it, it really brought the whole thing together. Cause I'm like, damn, baby was there, everybody was there, and we and, and we was just like, oh, this shit for real now. So it kind of turned up the whole shoot. Cause now we really believing in the whole thing. Cause it was one of those things where we just for the fly through it and get out. Everybody want to go to their parties. Now nah, this became an event at this point. We all here. <laughs> so I never, I never forget that. And, and and to me, to this day, like Diddy was just a real nigga for doing that. Like he could have, he could have asked for uh, X amount of money. He could have, you know what I'm saying? He could have did away, but he pulled up and showed, showed love. You know what I'm saying? So that was a big moment for me to really let me know where I stand in the industry as respect. That, that's yeah. when I knew I really that's had dope. respect yeah. in the industry mm -hmm. when people was doing that. Cause like I say, I'm an artist. I know it's one thing to to do a verse, but it's a whole other thing to pull up a video, especially at, at this type of level. So when that happened, that's how I used it. I was like, okay, this money was well spent. You feel what me? about was, Bon B? Bon B a stand up dude. Oh, bon B just stand up. He was there. Yeah, he was there for sure. You know? Bag my diamonds on my front, conjure up in my cup, granddaddy in my blunt. So, and everybody met Diddy at that shoot that was there. Like that was the first really? time like, drama, time drama met like Link Gotti, uh 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 Bombi. Everybody that was at that shoot, probably outside of Mano, Commando from New York. Right. Think he, you know, they was already locked in or whatever. Everybody had just met 
did, uh, did it, that shoot. Wow. So, you know, a lot of people locked in from that moment. They Niggas started becoming Ciroc boys <laughs> right after that, you know what I'm saying? So I, I was glad about that. I'm like, okay, I created something where other niggas was able to eat from that, you know? So it was just a fun time, you know? And, and that was another thing. I was having fun at the time. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see me.